Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys to another tech video with Human and Sutan and today we're doing my YouTube gear and setup camera gear 2019. So we decided to buy a new camera because our Canon EOS M3 unfortunately died during an accident filming a vlog at Fliegdagen. Yeah, the Swedish Armed Forces Aviation Day, that vlog if you want to see it. Yes, you can just click here in the description or we can put it up here. Yes. But yes, on to the story. So, our Gorilla Pod was from AliExpress. It wasn't a very high quality, so it decided to drop that day. So, human dropped with the Gorilla Pod and the camera dropped alongside with it. And the Canon EOS M3 unfortunately died that day. Yeah, and that was a sad day and we had to film with the OnePlus 6 the rest of the vlog. Uh, so the quality was a little downgrade on that vlog. But we are opted for a new camera, so then? Yeah, so we bought the Canon EOS M5. So we're gonna update you with our new gear for 2019. So let's get on with it, human. So we decided to buy the Canon EOS M5 because it has a 1080p at 60fps capability recording. It has an ISO count of 100 to 25,600. The shutter speed is 30 to 1 per 4,000 seconds. The Canon EOS M5 shots at 24.2 megapixels. The lens has a 15 to 45 millimeters capability, so this allows us to do some pretty wide angle shots and it also has that zoom distance. And the last thing about this camera is the microphone port. So this allows us to connect to external microphones. So for microphone, we are using the Rode Video Micro. It has a noise cancellation, a direct sound, and a long draw distance to record sound. We can be at a far distance and you still will be able to hear me. And it also comes with a muff, a noise cancelling muff, so we can use it through windy conditions and you will still be able to hear me. And this is a really nice budget friendly microphone. So the last Gorilla Pod was a faulty one and a cheap one. So we have to for a more more pricey one. The Joby Gorilla Pod 3K. So it's a sturdy one, you can twist it and bend it and it's still firm. And of course we still use the Brian Miller Magic solution because this is a must when you have a flip up screen and you're vlogging. But that solution was for the M3 and the M3 had a flip up screen upwards and this is the M5 has a flip up screen and down a flip one. down screen. Flip down <laughs> screen. Yeah, we can call it flip down screen. Flip down screen. <laughs> uh, so Sunny did a little mod on this. Do you want to explain that mod? Yes, I can explain it. So what I decided to do was to cut uh, some material here. So the flip up flip down screen could actually do it 180 degrees properly. So now we can use it while using this Gorilla Pod. So it's very easy, accessible. Yeah, yeah. some modding and twisting there. So we can use the Gorilla Pod, Gorilla Pod, the flip screen, and the microphone at the same time. Yes. And this mod allows us to have easy access to our battery compartment and memory card compartment. This is really handy when you have to switch out batteries or memory cards when you're vlogging or anything. So we don't have to unmount this Gorilla Pod to access the batteries or the memory cards now. For tripod, we're using the HEMA tripod. It is a really nice tripod with the flexibility of the height, the width, and you can use all the types of angles. This is a really all-in-one great tripod for regular use, for professional use. Human, this is really the best tripod we have ever used in history. Yes, HEMA is the tripod we use for all our tech videos. Uh, the real pod is more for our vlogs and like that, but the HEMA tripod is the tripod we use the yes. most. This is a Gorilla Pod for the smartphone and this is when we use a smartphone to record and this is minimal usage but for an example this video we are gonna film this camera and uh, then we have to use another camera and then we use the phone and use this Gorilla Pod here. Yeah and I actually do bring this with me to Östersund where I study in, uh, for university because if I do want to record a video for you guys 
I have to use my phone because the main camera will be staying here in Uppsala so this is really handy for the quick videos. So you saw our last camera setup gear video. The lighting wasn't that good. It was terrible because this is a very dark room indeed, our gaming room, because it has grey walls. And a grey ceiling. Uh, but in order to be in every kind of situation you need good lighting and that's why we bought some studio lamps and now we can get that crisp lighting and beautiful quality wherever we are and that's why we bought this studio lamps from Aliexpress. Yes, and we hooked them up with some IKEA bulbs with 1000 lumens and we're thinking about upgrading them to 1800 lumens. That will double the strength and yes, they are bringing the capabilities of the Canon EOS M5 because good lighting with a good camera equals a very good video quality and a crisp image. So inside the Canon EOS M5 we have a 64GB micro SD XCUHS1 class. This is a really fast micro SD card. It's used with an adapter so we can use it in our camera. And for additional memory cards we have these Transcends 32GB UHS class 1 with a write speed of 45MB per second. So we have a lot of storage and to be honest we've never been running out on the first 64 no, 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 so not at all. This is just in case something happens or... If we were to use uh, to 4K recording then yes, yes, of course, it would come in handy. Uh, but we also have this USB adapter where you just put in the SD card and then you can put it in to the computer uh, and this was in handy when before we bought the Dell XPS computers but now we don't use this as much but it's good to have if we were to edit on another computer. Yes and this is also a 3.0 USB specification so it really has some nice transfer speed so you can really use the capabilities of your memory cards. Inside the Canon EOS M5 we have the original battery that came with it but we do have an additional Canon EOS battery. This is from our good friend Canon EOS M3, rest in peace. These batteries are 1040 milliamps per hour capacity, so it really does have some nice recording time. Yes, and why you want the original Canon batteries for Canon camera is because that is how you access the battery indicator. Because Canon only allows first party batteries to allow the battery indicator so you can see how much battery juice you got left on the battery because if you use a third party battery you cannot access that so then you have to guess how much battery you got left yeah and the camera will warn you about using using a third party battery yeah so this is the best way to go but of course we have some third party batteries so our third party batteries are 1300 milliamps per hour but those are china batteries so i wouldn't believe the specifications entirely but we do have four of them in worst case scenarios because we have a a terrible charger for this that came included we cannot even charge this properly and we got like for each battery what do we have 10 to 20 minutes yeah. <laughs> time to record so these are just to finish off the video yeah, sometimes so this is worst worst case scenarios so now we have two canon battery chargers this is one for the m5 and we have a leftover from the m3 and these are nice and a fast charger it lights one hour and then a full charge yes and of course we have the Braveheart charger. Yeah, Braveheart ch charger we talked about. Uh, so you're just clicking the batteries, but it doesn't connect uh, very sturdy. So the battery comes loose and they don't charge. And sometimes they don't even charge whatever you do with them. And to go along with it, we have an adaptive fast charger from Wish. This is a China adapter, but it works. And yeah, the cable of course here. Yeah, and... Uh, this charger we can uh, charge two batteries at the same time but that never works uh, so yeah. this is a, a worst case scenario charger and worst case battery scenario yeah. so Braveheart, Braveheart uh, not the best 
brand. Of course we have some additional microphones and these are very minimalistic and nice clean design. We use this in loud events when we want that clear and crisp sound so you can hear us loud and clear there. And of course we have our extension cord here. Yes, this extension cord is used when we have the camera mounted on a tripod and we want to do an interview with someone far away from the camera. So these extension cable comes very handy. Here is the YouTube gear, camera setup and action! Yes, we do have a filmmaker's clip-on action tool because this is very handy setting the scene, the roll and the take so it's very easy when editing. Yes, so you can keep track of which clips you want to use and which clips are faulty. So one of the capabilities of the Canon EOS M5 is the 60fps at 1080p ability. So this will give us nice time lapses and yes, Yes, so we use this uh, egg time-lapse timer and it's an egg timer but you mount down the camera on the top here and then you just twist it uh, you can use maximum 60 minutes from 5 minutes to 60 minutes and you just twist it for how many minutes you want and then it will circle around so we get a nice a view of the entire environment. Yes. And when it's done it's just gonna so sound like a regular egg. Time and time-lapse is done! So our camera backpack is from Ferndean, bought from AliExpress. So human, walk us through this backpack. Yeah, so this is an, a nice backpack. It looks small, but it got a ton of compartments. We got first this small compartment here, where you can put some small things like your memory cards or small things like that. Uh, we don't use it because it's got a ton of compartments here, so yeah, that is all we need. So here you have a ton of uh, compartments and you mount these by yourself, custom. You just take off these cardboard bands and you place them exactly how you want. So this is custom made by Suten for our camera, GorillaPod and everything, so it fits exactly as we want. And then we got some compartments here. And here we can put other things like memory cards, batteries or extension cords. So we got a ton of compartment. This is a really nice design. The red, the black and we are so happy with this backpack. Yes, and one additional thing here is we have those side compartments where you can hook up your GorillaPod or a nice water bottle when you're on the go. And yes, those, uh, this backpack really do have some nice quality handles here for your back. So this was our YouTube gear camera setup. And this was an amazing video to make and show us what we use and we hope you got a little inspired here. Yeah, we're really happy with the results of the Canon EOS M5. We really like the 60fps capabilities at 1080p which allows us to do those time lapses and slow motions. This has been a very much awaited future for our Human and Sutan YouTube channel. And we're really amazed with the quality of the focus, of the focus on this M5 compared to the M3. So you get that instant focus whenever you want that. Uh, but that wraps up the video. Yes. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to comment on, on this video if you have any questions on our gear or any questions about the camera and we will gladly help you as much as we can. And you cannot forget that bell icon so you can get notified of our recent uploads. And that subscribe button if you want us on your feed, Human and Suten, to smile up your day. And of course, you cannot forget to share this video with at least three of your friends and like this video. And remember who this is. This, this is... is Human and Suten Corporation. Ho ho ho! Human! And certain.